name is Susan Musgrave and this is my daughter, Faith Ann Musgrave. We're going to make an awesome meal. We're going to do lots of things with apples today because we were given a whole bunch of apples by friends of ours here in Germany from their orchard. So, waste not, want not. I'm going to be making a little bit of a different dish today for friends that have allergies. It's going to be gluten free, also corn free. So, what are the ingredients, young lady? We have two cups of chicken broth. We have two cups of onion. We have eight carrots chopped up. Two cups of black eyed peas. Two tablespoons of salt. Two oh. tablespoons of pepper. It's only one of fresh pepper. And we have eight, excuse me, ten cloves. And we have one generous beef roast, and we're going to add in all kinds of apples. We're just going to cover it in apples Six at the end. Six to seven, eight apples. Yep. All right. We're just going to take our meat, and we're going to put it in our crock pot. Now, with the salt, we're going to be very generous on our meat right here. I'm going to flip it over. And then we're going to pour in the broth. The reason why we're doing the chicken broth is actually... Such a great blend. Okay, and we're gonna put in the peas. We're gonna put that all around. You're gonna add in more water. And then we're gonna add a little bit more salt in here because this is the only salt that's going in. My chicken broth is low sodium. Then we're gonna take our onions, put them all around. I'm gonna take our pepper. We're gonna sprinkle that around because I want that to be on the meat and the onions. Then we are going to mince our garlic. If you already have minced garlic, that's fine. This is just garlic that's been in some olive oil. And we're gonna mince all 10 cloves all around. Very simple. All around the crock pot, nothing major. Then we're gonna Get some apples with the skins on. We're just going to chop them up and throw them in here. If you can't have onions, you don't have to add onions. Whoops! Dropped my clove in there. You can use green peppers, red peppers. Just we have some extra onions lying around. Alrighty, let me clean this off and we're going to dice up some apples and put them in along with the carrots. You can see I'm just kind of chunking the apples up, nothing major, because I want them kind of big. So that way we can scoop them out and have them have some fresh apples on the side with our meal. See, I'm just placing it very lightly around the meat. We're going to add some more water here in about an hour, because I want the broth to cook into everything, and then we're going to add some more water. Okay, I've only done four apples. Um, because I need room in here. The reason also why we're not adding a lot of water is apples have tons of water in them, so all that's gonna soak in there. And now we're gonna cover the top completely with our carrots, with no spices, because carrots are just good by themselves, as my camera girl is munching on a carrot. Alrighty, and I have this on high. I'm going to cook it on high for a good, for a couple of hours, because I want the beans, excuse me, the peas and the apples Okay, can you quit eating in the video, sweetie? Just quit chewing, thank you. Um, yeah, we're big uh, carrots and apple fans here. But um, I want all that, I want the, the peas to get hot and soak everything up, and I want the apples to cook down. Alrighty, we're gonna put the lid on this, and we are gonna just forget about it for an hour or so, and check on it. In the meantime, let's get some banana bread going. You can see we have this beautiful beef roast. Take some carrots with our black eyed peas, apples, and onions. We're just going to kind of smother that right across our meat. Make it nice and sweet. Now, it's not sweet like applesauce, but it's just an amazing flavor. 
as I turn my plate around because I'm a south paw here. And you can see this meat is just breaking away. Look how tender that is. Almost like a stew. Now there's no milk in this, obviously. Very, very tender, very mild spices for people that have allergies. Get myself a smaller bite here. I like carrots with it. All right. Mm. For me, I want some cornbread. And I know that's so wrong because the friends I'm making this for can't have corn. But, mmm. This is a great way to have a roast and get your vitamin C in there with your apples and get extra protein with the sweet pea, with the black eyed peas. I mean, mmm. Uh, this is so good. All natural flavors. The only salt we put on there was a little bit. And the thing that makes this so unique was a little bit of chicken broth I put in there. But <laughs> From my kitchen to yours. A unique pot roast for my friends who are having problems with their allergies. Have a great day.